Today, we're gonna to be introducing our little chickies to our existing flock. Our chicks are about 10 weeks old and they have been living in a chicken tractor outside of our existing chicken run. Chickens are flock animals, and if you were to take your newer baby chicks and just throw them in with your existing flock, it may not go well. So we like to follow a process when it comes to introducing our chicks. The first step is to move our chicks outside with our existing chickens and put them in a chicken tractor or another type of structure that is completely enclosed and protects them from predators. We place our chicken tractor next to our chicken run. This allows the chickens to interact in a safe and controlled way. Let's first give you a tour of this temporary living setup we have for our chicks. There are a couple of key things you need to consider whenever you are building something like this. Alex just threw this together in two hours with some scrap materials we had because we knew that it wasn't going to be a forever home for everyone. But let's get into some of those details. The first thing that you need to make sure that you have is ventilation. So we have a couple of holes that we drilled into the side for ventilation. We also have ventilation ventilation along the back here at the top. This is built out of pallets just like our main coop is and so the holes in the pallets kind of made a good space for the ventilation. Anywhere you have ventilation you're probably going to want to cover that with hardware cloth. We have it on the top along here and we didn't add it on the side yet. The second thing you want to make sure that you have is a way for water to get off of your structure so we just have a slanted roof. We have just a very simple way of opening this up. You're gonna be cleaning this, make sure that you can clean it. I actually get into this in order to clean it. The last two things you need in your temporary setup are a door that closes and locks at night and a roost. The door is really important because you wanna keep those predators out. They can break into fenced areas, so we like to have it completely enclosed. The roost allows the chickens to get up to a higher spot at night. They like to sleep in higher spaces, which you probably already know, but that's a good addition as well. Our chicks have been in this temporary setup next to the chicken run for about four weeks now. This last week or so, we have let them out free ranging with our existing flock. This is the second step in the process. So first step is keep them in a separate area next to your chicken run. Second step is to free range them together. We used a very similar method whenever we introduced two adult chickens to our existing flock and it worked extremely well. Now there's one thing that I've noticed that's been different about this experience, our chicks, even though they're allowed to free range, have stayed primarily around this little fenced in area, probably because they recognize that that's their space and that's their home. And they're not as curious as our existing flock. So this has limited the interactions in this free range environment between the two flocks. So it'll be interesting to see when we move our chicks into the run right now, how everyone interacts. Another interesting element to this experience that's different than our last is that our chicks have about six roosters in there. So in the past, whenever we introduced the two adult hens to our existing flock, there were zero males. And now we are introducing six males into the bunch. So this is gonna be interesting. The biggest key thing you need to have within your chicken run is two places to get food and water because as you introduce that new flock in here, they may be scared of the existing hens and vice versa. And so if you have the two separate places where they can eat and drink, they're gonna be much happier. Our chicks are now eating a grower feed. We switched them over at eight weeks. They'll be eating this feed until 20 weeks. The grower feed we're feeding our chicks is from Scratch and Peck Feeds, so special thanks to them for sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar with Scratch and Peck Feeds, they are a family-owned business. They produce very high-quality, organic, and non-GMO feed. We highly recommend them. We've been using their feed for several months now, and our chickens absolutely love it. This is gonna be a little bit interesting because our chicks aren't nearly as treat-motivated as our chickens are. All right, girlies, come here, okay? Do you know what this is? Oh, I got treats. I got treats. You're like, what is that? Come here. Look at all those roosters leading the pack. Okay, let's try this out. I know you might get scared of the big hens. Ready? Nope. Go in. Oh, you're no longer interested? Come on. Now you might be a little bit. Okay, get a taste, get a taste. Uh-oh, we lost half of them. Everyone in. Oh, we got them in. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to, I'm getting away. Oh my gosh. Go in. Can you go in? 
Okay, there you go. There you go. Look, oh my gosh, you guys are getting so many treats. Come on. Oh gosh, oh no. This is gonna be interesting. Come on, there we go. Can you shut the door behind the ones that are in here? Okay, that's good. We might just have to hand pick up the rest. One at a time. Well, we have everyone successfully in the run. It was definitely a lot more challenging to get 11 chickens in here instead of just two when we had that happen before. But everyone's in here. There are a couple of interactions that have occurred, but nothing crazy. So we'll keep an eye on everyone for the rest of today. But when the evening time rolls around, we may move those chicks back into their own little sleeping area but if we feel like everyone is doing okay we will let them go in the coop and check on them in the morning i just got back i had been working at the property with alex but i knew that some of those chicks probably wouldn't get in the coop turns out some of them didn't get in the coop so we're gonna make sure that they get in there safe so I have my car lights shining in this area just so I can see them better, but you can see there's probably about six or so that didn't make it in. So we're gonna go open the door and help them in. Our chicken coop has an automatic door that shuts when it gets dark outside. And we have a little button up here that I can just press to open it. And it looks like I have some other hens sitting right there on the other side. Well, not hens, but a rooster and a hen. And let's see, did anyone get on the roost? I'm gonna have to open the side here and see. Okay, so we have two that got on the roost. That's good. Okay, let's move everyone else in. All of the little chickies are in here. We have three roosts and you can see there is plenty of room for all of the chickens. They'll all find a spot and settle in for bed. Good morning. It is first thing the next day. So let's go see how all of the little chickies did. So I see all my adult chickens out and it looks like I have some of the smaller chickies in the back over there. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? That means that most of them got out, and the only one who's probably stuck in the coop is Little Peeper, which is to be expected because she is the injured chick. So I'm gonna go and grab her. But other than that, they're looking pretty good. This is really exciting. Oh, I can hear her cheeping. Here she is. Peeper, good job. Look at you. You're making it work with your legs. They're already out of food from yesterday, so I suspect that some of the adult hens were eating the grower feed, which is fine because I'm probably going to let everyone free range later on today. Um, I really just wanted to make sure that they would be okay in the run together and that they can sleep in the coop together because ultimately we really let our chickens free range most of the day anyways, but we wanted to be able to put them all in one area, especially at night. As soon as I gave the chicks some food, I came over here and made sure that these chickens were happy with their food. And so they're preoccupied pecking over here at their scratch feed and our chicks are focused on eating the grower. I have to replace their water. You can see it got knocked over. But we'll let everyone eat for a bit before I let everyone out to free range, let them get fueled for the day. But overall, I'm gonna call this a success. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video to be helpful. I'm gonna put a link here to our chicken playlist so that you can check it out and see if there's something else that might be helpful to you.